Hey friends, we are doing some division again today and I like this because it's on graph paper so it kind of gives you boxes to put your numbers, your digits in and then keeps everything lined up a little easier for you. And I know that dividing is a little bit harder so we're going to be doing more of them together. So if we're doing them together, your paper should look like mine when you send it to me, okay? I always leave a couple for you to do on your own as well. So let's just review, we have our steps. So we go with our little acronym, which is does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Of course they do, right? And then I've got divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. All right, let's look at our first one. I'm looking at Three, how many times can three fit into three? You just need to focus on the first number first. Some teachers will say cover up the nine if it, with your finger and then say how many times does three go into three? Well, if I started counting by threes over here on the side, I would get there right away, wouldn't I? It's only one time. So I put my one up on top and one times three is three. It says I can't quite stay in the, little, the squares with her pen, but hopefully you can. And then, so now I just did my multiply. Now I'm on my step where I subtract. 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay, I just did subtract. So I'm going to check if there are more numbers. There's another number, so then I need to bring down. Draw your arrow. And bring down your 9. And then the process starts over again. How many times can three fit into nine? Well, let's keep counting and see. Three, six, nine. One, two, three times, right? So my three goes up here. And now I'm on the multiplication step or the time step. What is three times three? Well, three times three is nine. And then I'm going to subtract, I'm following my steps. Nine take away nine is zero, so there is no remainder, okay? Some people like to put remainder zero. You do not need to do that if you want to, that's fine, okay? One thing I wanted to talk about as we're going along here is a way to check your division problem, okay? So I can take my number on top, which is 13, times this number, okay? I can take 13 times three. Let's see what happens when I do that. So I can say 13 times three, because you guys are good at those. Three times three is nine. Three times one is three. And that answer that you get should be the same answer that's under the house, okay? Because there was no remainder that time, but that's just something I want you to kind of be aware of as like a self-check, okay? We'll do that some other times too, but I just wanted to show you one of those. All right, let's look at our next one. Remember, you can cover your that seven up with your finger if you want. How many times does two fit into eight? Let's start with our twos. Two, four, six, seven, eight. How many times was that? One, two, three, four. I put my four on top, and then I say four times two. I'm on the, the multiplication step right now. I take the number on top of the house, four times two is eight, and subtract. Eight minus eight is zero. Now I check, is there more numbers to come down? Yes, there is. So I draw my arrow. I bring down my seven. And the process starts over again. How many times can two fit into seven? Well, let's look back up at our numbers that we already wrote. Two, four, six, eight. Eight is too big, isn't it? So I need to back down to six. So that's one, two, three, three, two. So I put my three up here. And then I times three times two, this two right here, is six. And I subtract, seven minus six is one. That's my remainder because there are no other numbers to bring down. So my answer is 43, remainder one, okay? 
And believe me, guys, it will get easier. I was visiting with the fourth grade teachers, and they said it takes a long time to just have it be a little bit easier for you. But we're hanging in there, okay? All right, let's look at C. Okay, I'm looking, taking my five. How many times can it fit into nine? Let's do our count buys. Five, ten. Oops, ten is too big, isn't it? So I have to go back to five, so only one time. Okay, and then one times five is five. I subtract. Nine minus five is four. I check, is there another number to bring down? Yes, there is. Draw your arrow, bring down your two, okay? Now I say, how many times can five fit into 42? Wow, we're gonna be counting by fives, aren't we? But we're good at our fives, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 is too big, so I have to go back to 40. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? 8 times 5 is 40. Put my 8 up here, and then I multiply. 8 times 5 is 40. Time to subtract. 2 take away 0, 2, and 4 take away 4, nothing. So I have 18 remainder two for my final answer, okay? So it's getting a little crowded up there. All right, that looks a little better to see our answers, doesn't it? So let's keep going. We're doing good, guys. The more we do, the easier it will become, right? Mrs. Hagen is going to save the ones on the bottom for you. So you'll have three to do by yourself, okay? I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for this next part, okay? All right, here we go. Right away, I take a look at my eight. How many times does it fit into eight? Well, how many times does eight fit into eight? Only once, doesn't it? So I put my one up here, and then I say one times eight is eight, subtract, eight take away eight is zero. Do I have another number to bring down? Yes, I do. I have a five, I bring down my five. Does eight fit into five? Does it fit in there? No, it does not. It doesn't fit into five, does it? If it's in zero times, doesn't it? This one's a little different in that we had to mark that spot with a zero up there, okay? And then it ends up being my remainder then is what I have left over. So 10 remainder five, okay? That one's just a little bit different because I don't know that we've had some to mark that spot with a zero. Maybe we have a couple times, okay? All right, let's do another one. How many times does three fit into six? I'm gonna start my count bys, and you can always use your multiplication table too. Three, six, oops, six was the one, wasn't it? Nine is too big. Okay, so how many times was that? One, two. Put my two above my six, and then I multiply. In a way, guys, you're multiplying these two numbers, three times two. Three times two is Six, draw my line, subtract. Six take away six is zero. I check, I'm on my C. Do I check and see if I have more numbers to bring down? Yes, I do. Bring down my eight. And then the process starts over again. How many times does three fit into eight? Well, I can look up at my count buys and I can see three, six, nine. Nine is too big, isn't it? So I have to go back to the six, which is two times. And then two times three is six. Subtract, eight minus six is two. And I don't have any more numbers to bring down, so this is my remainder. So my answer is 22 remainder two, okay? 
who's staying with me today. Might have to take a break and have a little snack, right? We got this, guys. I really do like the grid paper, though. It's really nice to have space. All right, let's do one more together, okay? Here we go. How many times does seven fit into seven? Oh, boy, we know that, don't we? Only one time. Okay, and seven times one is seven. Subtract, seven minus seven is zero. Is there anything to bring down? Yep, there's a one. And now if I say, can seven fit into one? No, it cannot, so I need to mark that spot with a zero, and then my remainder is one, okay? So if, if it doesn't fit in there, you need to mark that spot with a zero, okay? So Mrs. Hagen is looking at what you have left to do, okay? Right away, I'm going to say, does six fit into seven? Start your count wise. Whoa, 12 is too big. It only goes in one time, doesn't it? And one times six is six. You're going to subtract and then bring down, okay? Remember that thing I said about marking with a zero if it doesn't fit, okay? All right, I want to leave you guys to do those three. Remember, you can always come on to homework help, but I'm hoping you can get those three done. That would be awesome. And a lot of the division pages that we're doing, guys, are things that if I was in the classroom with you, we would have to do a lot together too. So we're just doing it together virtually, right? All right. Have a super day.